All right, so I want to do a video just on my next project, and this is so this is going to be an EDC hatchet. Um, I'll show you what I currently use like every day. So I do landscaping, and I like to carry a, a knife, like a pretty large knife, so I cut branches and stuff with it. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with like a large fixed blade that you can't with uh, with just a folding knife. So um, it's always fun to make these videos just to see how 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 much I stick to to the original design. And I was thinking of just, I usually just do a drawing first and I talk about it, but I think it would just be, it was, it's funner to just, um, to just have the cutout. I thought this time would be nicer this way. So, uh, just to go overall, um, specs and stuff, it's, um, it's 10 inches wide. I mean long, 10 inches long. It's four inches wide. And the cutting edge, it's a little bit over two and a half inches. So... Compared to what I currently have, it's it's this. It's the the Cold Steel Warcraft Tanto. So this is approximately it's it's I think it's a little bit under 12 inches long. And so this is what I currently use. Um, and so this guy is oh, and the thickness on this guy is probably about I think it's like 0.31 inches, something like that. So it's more it's it's a bit a bit more than a quarter inch. Um, yeah, here's compared to. Let me just compare it to this guy too. Let's see. Yeah. Um. I should put this out of the way. All right. So the reason I want to do a little hatchet is um, since I did the other axe, I've been like kind of into axes now so I thought okay I kind of want to make one that I can carry anywhere and just use and basically I carry the knife I showed a second ago I carry that horizontally and I want to carry scout carry I want to carry this the same way and I, so this 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 uh, design is going to revolve and it does I mean it revolves around wearing it uh, scout carry so first of all um, it doesn't have a spike so so a lot of like little hatchets and stuff like that are kind of like tomahawk style where they'll have where, where they will have a spike but um or they'll just have like a nub sticking out so the problem with that is if i'm if i'm gonna wear it scout carry i'm gonna wear this facing down and i don't want anything protruding so it's gonna be like up against my stomach or up against my above my waistline basically i don't want anything like that so uh the difference for this is this I'm going to I'm going to make a so I'm going to make this into a very I want to say obtuse but I keep obtuse isn't the right word um a very wide triangle. So I'm going to make this into a very wide triangle. Um the edge is almost going to touch and I'm probably going to leave like probably about an eighth of ink of thickness in the center and then I'm going to round it out. So so I'm going to start from here. There's going to be a line across all the way. And then I'm going to make a triangle and then have 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 it crowned edge on top. So that that gives me something where I can um destroy stuff with. Basically, I can still hit things. I don't have to use my my edge if I want to if I want to hit anything and break stuff up. So I still have something that I can use for for that, but it won't it won't have um it won't be dis like a discomfort or won't potentially uh hurt me if i like fall o fall over or something like that because it's sticking higher than my uh if because it would be it would be sticking like in my in my side or in my stomach or whatever so other than that uh the edge so i'm not too sure what i'm going to do with the edge but i'm thinking the bezel is going to be from here forward and on an axe, so, okay, so here's a scenario um, of what I want. So I want, I want to be able to chop through, through thick branches. And the thing is with the knife, actually with this knife, um, I can chop through, through thin branches. Let's say like there's a thin branch hanging uh, sideways. I can just sweep at it with this and just chop it. Um, I'll be able to do that with this too, but I would have to make it like pretty thin to do that. 
So I have to find a compromise. And um, I think I'll find that find what I want while I'm grinding. Um, so if I make it too thin, um, it'll be easier to to um, to damage. And then, oh, and this is CPM 3V. I don't know if I mentioned that. CPM 3V steel. But it'll be easier to damage. And um, when you chop something, so okay, you an axe, you want something that has a bit of a thick uh, edge to it. Because if, you, if it's too thin, it'll get stuck. So you have a lot of weight and power going into a hit with an axe. And if it's too thin, it'll basically just drive down and just get stuck there. It, it, you'll be, instead of just chopping something and having it hit and then come off, you'll spend a lot of times hitting something and then wiggling it out, hitting something and then wiggling it out. Um, my other axe, I think I think that I found a nice in between for that. For this guy, uh, I kind of want a little bit more, more of an ability to chop, um, and less of an ability to to just cut things, freestanding stuff. So, so less less overall sharpness. I mean, in in terms of uh, being able to separate separate things cleanly, and more more of a of a of an ability to to um, separate things um, by breaking them separate. So so I want that more on my edge for this. So so I'm thinking I'll start from here and see how that looks, and I'll have to probably adjust it after that. Uh, this the whole point of this design. It's it's a lot harder for me to. Um, it's a lot harder for me to. It, it was a lot harder for me to design a, an axe than it was a, a normal knife for whatever reason. So I spent like I don't know how long, probably like a couple hours, trying to figure this out. Something that that came out that that looked good or, or functional to me. So so the main point of this design is to have as much weight as possible in the front. And the way I got I got that is by basically having so it's a thin it's a relatively thin handle, but it's it's um it's a good width. It's not it's I, for me it's perfect. It's about an inch, a little bit wider than an inch handle. And uh and then from there on it just gets bigger and bigger. So so you have a lot of space here. All this it's it's just a lot of a lot of um, material forward which is you know what I want because I mean an axe has to be forward heavy to a certain point um, the only thing I don't know too much if I'm gonna keep it or not is this little point here so I've been swinging it with with just um, I'm having I haven't hit anything but I've been swinging it with um without an edge or anything and this tends to this little point I think it's sharp enough that it tends to um, be a bit of a nuisance but I think I think uh, once I have the handles on there, that might go away. I do want to keep this this um, how how this just widens out a lot. I just so you can have a good hold. But I might have to round this out a little bit more than what it is. Um, so yeah, if this flares out, so you don't you don't swing and then just flies out of your hand. And this here, you can see a little bit of a, a little bit a little bit of a. Uh, it gets a little bit wider here at this point, and for me, my hand, it's it's nice and close enough that that it's it's where my grip is basically. So, so once you put your hand there, all these little curves and everything, it feels like a natural grip because um, it starts curving just on the outsides of your hand basically. So for me, this is a, it's a very comfortable grip just from uh, from trying it out and then adjusting it and trying it out and adjusting it. Um, other than that, um, I don't know, one of the things I won't know until I actually, um, get, put, put an edge on here and then do that angle that I talked about on top is whether or not I'll, I'll, um, taper this. So, um, a lot of people see tapering, uh, and I've done it on, on just, I think one knife. I've, I've tapered a lot of knives, um, on the blade, the blade itself. But I've only tapered one knife, the, uh, the ha a handle on, on um, the tang on a handle for only one knife. But 
a lot of people see that as as like a mark of of quality i mean it's for sure it's it's a mark of more more time um invested in something but uh, the reality i mean the the thing is is we, the only reason you want a taper is is because you're trying to adjust um the balance so that you get the perfect balance that you want so if you want a really long blade if you want a really long blade then it's going to be very forward heavy and if you want to adjust that balance then you can taper the handle and have the and you can even make holes on the handle and do all these things to get a better balance but to taper something simply just to taper it just to, just to, to make it look good is kind of pointless to me so so it would look nicer if it was tapered but um once i i get rid of the material i need for this i'll know if i actually have to um too much too much weight in the front is also bad for me in a sense that you don't want to have something you don't want to swing something around that it feels that it feels like it's going to fly out of your hand. Well, um, as an example, what I can think of is, okay, so swinging a hammer has a lot of power um, in the head, right? And swinging a lead pipe has a lot of power too. So they're both really like good at blunt force um, power, uh, but they're both different also. So... So if you have a hammer with a with a certain size grip and you have too much weight in the front, every time you swing it, you'll you'll feel it pull on your on your hand, on your grip, and you don't want that. You want something that is an in-between from a lead pipe to a to a hammer, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so yeah. So this is the basically it. Uh I'm gonna get started on on working on this. I'll show it to you one more time, I think, right before I um I sent out to get it heat treated and I'll show you all the options, I mean the decisions I did make. Uh, it's going to be 1 8 uh, pins too on this. And then when I do do that, I'm going to do them on the edges just to keep a solid a solid piece of steel in the center. So uh, the, main, the, main, the main places where these, where everything tends to, to break, mostly everything is, it tends to be around the front of a uh, of the grip when you're a knife and stuff like that uh, a lot of tools tend to break on that area it depends i mean it depends on the tool too but so just to keep a solid piece of steel running down without any holes uh intervening between there between um the whole piece i'm gonna do it on the sides and then i'm gonna stagger them too so they're not uh straight from each other there there will be angles because an angle has more space in between than a than a straight line from from one edge to the other. Okay. Uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know too. Most, but mostly, I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna do it do it my way. But I have enough steel to make two other ones. So suggestions are always cool. I might change things up later on. Okay. Bye.